Hi guys, hi everyone, welcome to another video. Now this video is actually very special and the reason why it's special is because uh, I'm putting a new twist on I guess a topic that is is widely done actually around the world in YouTube videos and seminars and on TV and in books and all that kind of stuff and it's on motivation haha <laughs> uh, but I'm putting my new spin on it because the way I think of things is I, I try to kind of like use different analogies and you know like bring different ideas together and one of these ideas with this motivation video is to include something that I think is the missing link to motivation. It applies to many people out there uh, and that is motivation plus support, right? So this video is motivation plus support video. Now, some of you might be scratching your heads thinking, what do you mean motivation and support? I can simply motivate myself, or I can just watch a few YouTube videos, or I can read books, or I can go to a, I don't know, Anthony Robbins seminar, or whatever these big public speakers that do these motivation seminars and that kind of thing. But I believe that there's actually a vital ingredient that is actually missing from motivation in general. It's almost like a cake, you know, like when a cake is baked, and there's no icing or anything on it. There's something missing. And with motivation, I kind of find that support is actually needed. And these are the reasons why I think support is very important. My question to people out there is, how can one run before they walk? Ha <laughs> ha. Which a lot of people can't, you know, unless you're like Superman. And that analogy, and I guess that idea that what I'm talking about is, not everyone can actually self-motivate. Not everyone can self-drive. Not everyone can inspire themselves naturally. There are a lot of people out there who, you know, for whatever reason, they may have low self-esteem. They might be low in confidence. They might be shy. They might be modest. They might be introverted. Now, all these different personality traits actually play a key role and key ingredients to being able to self-motivate. And for those people out there, and that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you, nah, uh, uh it doesn't mean that at all. All it means is some people actually need different mechanisms to elevate themselves and motivate themselves naturally. And this is what this video is about. It's about a natural form of motivating oneself to actually feel good without all the big hype. You know, like, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can do that. Push yourself do that, go harder. I don't really like that kind of style. I mean, it can apply to some people, but we, we live in a, a broad spectrum society where everyone's different. So it's very, very important to tailor things to all different types of people. One of the things I actually do is counseling and that's gonna be linked to a website down the track and you guys can have links and go to that and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's a bit later on. But there's this really cute term in counselling, and I found it actually quite adorable, and it's called personal medicine. Hmm. It doesn't actually mean you go to the fridge and you get your own personal medicine, which could be alcohol or uh, drugs or something like that. Personal medicine, what it's really about is things that put a smile on your face. Um, that's meaningful to your life and also something where you are taking care of yourself. So now examples of those sorts of things can be, uh, you know, going for a walk in the park or you've had a bad day at work and you're just going to, you know, put on the Netflix or you saw something funny on YouTube or you're going to pet your beautiful cat or your pet and like, Aww, and have a little cuddle um, or it could be coming home to your boyfriend or girlfriend and giving them a beautiful hug or a kiss or anything that's actually romantic because I love romance. But anyway, uh, these are little things that it makes us feel better as human beings. Now, personal medicine doesn't have to be anything that's big. It doesn't have to be right, you know, like I got a promotion at work and now I'm feeling good or I've got that raise or, um, you know, my first child was born. So they're kind of big 
they're kind of big, um, I guess, accomplishments and successes and milestones in life. But personal medicine on a day-to-day -day basis is just about taking care of yourself. And when people take care of themselves in little things that really make themselves feel good, and I'm not talking about going over the top or like, oh yeah, I'm feeling so good because I went for a walk around the park and I did my exercise today and now I'm feeling pumped. It's not about that. It's actually about feeling good on the inside, which is your heart center. Feeling good in here. And feeling good in here is a completely different feeling to feeling pumped. Because <laughs> sometimes feeling pumped can actually be not real. And the essence of this motivation video is to feel real and to feel good. So uh, for people out there who actually can do little things every day to actually make themselves feel good, then do that. It's very, very important. It could be something really small. Let's just take a one day example. Okay, so someone's come home from work, they've had a bad day, but they wanna cook themselves a nice meal and sit down and watch TV. And then they kind of relax a bit and then they might play with a pet or they might read a book or something. Now, if that really makes a person feel good, then that's good. But with motivation, the key ingredient to this is building up the personal medicine blocks. So if someone doesn't feel good, you do something that makes yourself feel good. If you want to make yourself feel even more good, you do something again. So these little things are actually quite important and people don't realize they think, well, they kind of get stuck into like a set pattern and they lock themselves into a set. And this is usually what happens. And it, it kind of escapes us because once we're in a pattern, once a pattern is formed, it's hard to break. And people just don't realize because they kind of lock themselves in and then they get stuck in like their own leisure rut, I guess. So if something works for you one day, it actually may not work for you the next day. It might be something completely different. So guys, this is very important. Try things out. <laughs> Try things out that are different. One day TV might work for you, but the next day maybe cooking something or, or making yourself, um, a, I don't know, muffins or, or anything like that. You get the idea. So every single one of you are different. So the idea is to build yourself up with little things that make you feel good in here, not up here, in here. And that's actually Okay, uh, so when we keep building ourselves up with these little things, this helps with motivation. The motivation goes up and up and up and up slowly. So when we feel good, when it's a real way of feeling good, all these little things that we feel good and if we keep building up on them, like if it's one day we do this, uh, then the same day we do another thing, it keeps building and that is actually what will help us, inspire us, motivate us to do things that we want to do. And that's part of the self-drive. That's part of the self-inspiration. That's part of, yep, I want to do this because the person is feeling good. And that's what you want. You want to feel good about yourself. That's actually what this video is about, of course. So now this is, um, this is actually, a, a, I guess, a fun thing. I'd like you guys to either think about something or Tell me something, send me an email, share something with me that makes you feel good. Radical, that's what this channel is about, radical stuff. Interact with me guys, you can send a message, you can send an email, anything around a message. Just tell me something that makes you feel good. So, I don't know, I did all my housework today and I felt good. Um, I had a crap day, but I bought myself some healthy groceries. I avoided alcohol <laughs> and instead made myself a nourishing dinner. Or I ate my favorite chocolate bar and it was really, really yummy. Nom, 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 nom. Because <laughs> I ate chocolate too. Yes, it's very yummy. <laughs> so, these are just examples of making yourself feel good. And the more we feel good, then motivation kicks in naturally. And that is the point, guys. This is very, very simple, simple principles, but simple, sometimes the simple things in life, as the saying goes, is often the best. And this is actually true. So tell me something good. Tell me something rad, radical. Share something with me, guys. Interact with me. Let me know how you're going. Let me know how your stepping stones are going, which is part of motivating yourself naturally. And remember, it has to, you have to feel good in here, okay? 
in here, not in here. Right, okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe below and I'll see you next time on another YouTube adventure. Bye. Hey guys, this is my example of personal medicine. <laughs> my personal medicine. It's his birthday this month. He's a Pisces. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. Say hello everyone, sweetie. Yes, this is like my little personal medicine. And he's packed full of nutrients too. <laughs> So I'll put him down, yeah. So there you go, guys. That's just an example. So whatever yours is, a hot chocolate, cup of tea, <laughs> alcohol, house, I mean, doing the housework, I don't know, whatever. Uh, yeah, there you go. Say bye-bye.